Chapter 7 Reconnecting to Your True Self by Eliminating Media Pressure In this video, we'll talk about reconnecting to your true self by eliminating media pressure. Tabula rasa is a phenomenon in philosophy that was made popular by John Locke in 1690 in his essay Concerning Human Understanding. However, scholars have been arguing about this concept since the days of Aristotle. It is a belief that humans are born as babies with minds that are like blank slates. In other words, we become who we are because of the influences we are exposed to in our societies. You may argue with this idea, but you cannot deny the vital role the influences around you have in your life. It is more challenging to restrict the things that affect you in the modern world, thanks to your connectivity to social media. Nonetheless, you need to be watchful to ensure that you retain your individuality, uniqueness, and self-worth outside of these platforms. This chapter will expose you to essential tips that will help you stay true to yourself. Recognize technology use addiction symptoms. The first step towards reconnecting to yourself is discovering that you are losing your identity in an ocean of influences. Do you get more angry or feel more worthless in recent times? If yes, what is triggering these negative emotions? You need to take out time and ask yourself such questions. If you don't discover the source of your irritation, you cannot manage your annoyance and frustration. It does not take long to lose self-worth or job satisfaction. All you need is to surround yourself with materialistic people who measure their value based on their possessions. So, you need to guide against the kind of influences you have in your life. The signs that show you need a digital detox have been explored in the previous chapters. Look at them one after the other and notice if you have these symptoms. If you realize that you are struggling to be at your best at home or at work because of technology use addiction, you need to withdraw. Don't let this attention-grabbing world make you lose yourself in its vanities. Restructure your priorities and give your attention to what matters to you the most. Identify limiting and destructive thoughts. You don't need to do anything to have negative vibes and destructive thoughts. All you need is to leave your mind on autopilot mode to fill it with depressive ideas. Therefore, you need to take charge of the thoughts that run through your mind. Meanwhile, you cannot have destructive ideas if you've not been exposed to them. So, by limiting your use of social media, you can have more control over your thoughts. For example, exposure to insensitive celebrities who flaunt their luxurious lifestyles can affect your self-esteem. It can be harmless initially because you may feel inspired to pursue your dreams. Indeed, it is commendable to think big and have mind-boggling ambitions. Many rags to riches stories of different people in history can inspire you not to give up on your dreams. However, you shouldn't feel that you don't deserve to be respected and loved until you achieve your objectives. If you have people around you who mistreat you because you aren't wealthy and famous, they don't deserve to be your friends. Meanwhile, you may be getting this treatment from your social media contacts. You should avoid such pages, posts, or profiles. Eliminate distractions. Distractions can come in various ways and can be in various forms. It's not every distraction that is negative. Some things that demand your attention are attractive but unprofitable in the context of your goals. For example, if you are preparing for an exam as a student, watching a football match is fun if you are an enthusiast of the sport. However, it is unproductive because it does not contribute to your success in the exam. In the same way, you need to identify distractions in every aspect of your life and limit them. Note that you cannot recognize distractions to your dreams if you don't have clearly defined objectives. For that student, his or her goal is academic success, and that is by watching a football game 
becomes a distraction, especially close to the exam period. You need to sit down and set specific goals to make it easy for you to identify unprofitable activities. Note that every objective is not long-term. You can have short-term goals, such as completing a project in two days for your company. The urgency of the work should make you limit the frequency at which you use your devices. Checking your phone every few minutes during that period will only lead to an average performance. Place value on yourself outside of media construct. Remember the hive mind concept, which makes an individual forfeit his or her uniqueness. One of the worst things that can happen to a person is to lose his or her identity while trying to please others. It is easy to dance to the tune of social media influencers. When you realize how much the ideas on these platforms are affecting your decision making, you will be surprised. Both explicit and implicit adverts in the media affect your buying culture. Several studies have proven that many people buy names rather than quality. In some cases, other brands have superior quality products, but you will not buy from them. Rather, you will buy from a popular brand because many people online are talking about it. Unfortunately, many people don't realize that some of these companies pay people to say positive things about them. So, to base your sense of value on media construct is a wrong approach that can hurt you in many ways. Be productive. You have to put pressure on yourself to be the best you can be. You should have goals you want to achieve. However, you shouldn't try to achieve anything to prove a point to anyone. It is natural that people will criticize you because they don't understand you. Nonetheless, you shouldn't dismiss every criticism. You should improve in areas when you need to get better. However, you shouldn't try to achieve success to prove that you aren't a failure. Don't try to achieve your dreams so that you can post it on social media. If that is your motive, you might become desperate. Meanwhile, desperation will increase your frustrations, especially during tough periods. You might end up using the wrong means to achieve your goals because you want to get likes and positive comments at all costs. Do things that make you happy and be happy with your progress without using the lenses of other people. Practice gratitude. Practicing gratitude is a meditational principle. Loving kindness is one of the forms of meditation. This meditation type involves thinking about the splendid things about your life, such as your family and fantastic relationships. You should have this commendable practice. You should take time to focus on the things that are valuable in your life. It is easy to focus on the things you don't have and forget the enviable parts of your life. Many people wish they are in your shoes. Nonetheless, media pressure can make you feel worthless because you don't drive an exotic car. There's nothing wrong with living large if you can afford it. However, you shouldn't attach your value as an individual to your possessions. Be grateful for your health, cordial relationships, beautiful weather, etc. This practice will enable you to generate positive energy and boost your mental health. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.